think one of the most important things that I've learned that I try to stress to students is be yourself. So we are looking at people and we want you to be the person that you are. I think that's really important. We're looking for people who are prepared not only in their skills and their training, um, in a seriousness of intent about what they want to do, but also how do you articulate what it is that interests you about dance? What do you see yourself doing um, in the future with dance? So I think coming prepared with that is also something that is advisable. So some things to think about and remember to prepare for your audition. So have a good breakfast the morning of, because sometimes depending on the number of people in the audition, it can take up to three hours of time. So you're not gonna have a break necessarily in that three hours. Um, so have a good breakfast and bring a water bottle with you. Um, make sure that you've got an appropriate dance attire, meaning leotard, convertible tights, um, because you'll be doing some things with ballet shoes, you'll be doing some things barefoot. You'll also have your solo prepared and we want your solo to be in a style that is you. So we wanna see what it is that you do best, what is your wheelhouse, and so that's what we want you to share with us, whether it's hip hop, it's tap dance, it's point, what it is that you do best. If you have some recorded music, make sure to bring maybe a couple copies of it because sometimes if they bring a CD, that doesn't always work. Um, so make sure you have it on your phone and maybe some other format. They'll walk them over to the dance studio, which is where the audition will take place. And then they'll meet all of the people in the room, which will usually be myself and maybe one or two other dance faculty. And then we usually start with a progression of warm up at the bar, getting into your body, stretching a little bit. That's when you'll need your ballet shoes. And then we do a little bit of center floor work, um, some ballet as well. And then also we'll do some contemporary. So we'll go barefoot for that. We wanna see how students can move in sort of a range of different styles. And then after that portion of a class all together with all of the auditionees, we will send everyone out of the room and we'll bring people in one at a time, at which time they'll do their solo and then when they're fully out of breath after their solo is when we talk to them a little bit <laughs> and do an interview to get to know them better. I would say we're very welcoming. I would say we're very welcoming. Yeah, we, w we want people to feel comfortable. We wanna get to know you. We wanna see that you are interested in getting to know us. And we wanna see that you can take correction um, without getting nervous about it, but we wanna see that you're willing and able to make a change. So if, if one of the instructors at the audition gives you some information, take that and then try to do your best with it. So after the audition, I think it's always a good practice and etiquette send a thank you, that's always great, that's always meaningful, and then that also helps us remember you. Also, just look forward to getting something from the admissions. I also usually reach out to students. Just keep a, a line of communication going. I think that's always um, something that leaves an impression upon your auditioners. Mm -hmm.